Welcome back, trainers. So we have some more information from Niantic, not necessarily regarding GoFest itself, but leading up to. And as you can see, the images here, we're going to be taking a look at that and describing exactly what is going to be going on here. Pretty exciting stuff. And yeah, I've been wanting shiny Bellsprout for quite some time now. As you know, I do have myself a 100% maxed out. And we're also going to be getting some new Pokemon that are yet to enter into Pokemon Go. So starting this off, they're basically just giving us the introduction saying if you're a newer trainer or if you're an ace trainer, you're going to like this. And it's basically just going to be research tasks that are going to lead up to the GoFest itself, much like we've seen before in where we're going to have to kind of work together, specific teams completing tasks to unlock special perks. All right, so first things first, week one skill challenge at Pokemon Go's fourth anniversary celebration event. That's Awesome, Pokemon Go's been out for four years. Time flies, folks. Been going strong, uploading every single day, multiple videos, and it's just like, where did the time go? Anyways, what they have to say here is, the first Pokemon Go Fest weekly challenge will coincide with Pokemon Go's fourth anniversary celebration in the fourth year since Pokemon Go was released. How have your skills improved? And then they go on to say down here that Flying Pikachu is going to be making an appearance. Now, this is the only thing that is going to kind of hint as to what Flying Pikachu is going to be uh, with balloons on it, right? So, thought I'd put this card together for you so you can take a look. Uh, this is going to be going down July 3rd until July 8th, and where you can also possibly find yourself one of these that are going to be shiny. Now, I, I can't complain. I like this a lot better than a hat, right? I mean, this is technically another just a costume Pokemon Pikachu to fill up our inventory. And well, we need more bag space at this point. But hey, I'll take this over some sort of wacky hat, right? Especially if I can get it shiny. Moving on here. Alrighty, so for the next set here, we have GoFest Weekly Challenge Skill. Complete all three of the tasks in GoFest Weekly Challenge Skill Time Research to earn an encounter with Ducklet. So that is gonna be a new Pokemon that we're going to be able to collect here. An encounter with a flying Pikachu, a star piece, and more. A star piece, a individual one. All right, so moving on here. Uh, if the following numbers of trainers from the same team complete this time research, the corresponding Pokemon will be appearing in the wild. 1 million Team Instinct for Chimeco, 1 million Team Mystic for Olamola, and then 1 million Valors for Chansey. Well, we obviously know which one's going to be the best here, and that is going to be Valor. We're going to see a consistent kind of deal going throughout these challenges where it seems like Valor's getting the best here. Anyways, uh, if you complete the GoFest, Weekly challenge, skill time research. <laughs> okay, uh, you will earn access to the GoFest Elite Skill Challenge. So basically, you're going to be getting yourself access to an even beyond new research tasks. It's going to be even a little bit more difficult than the Elite one. Okay, flying type Pokemon and Pokemon wearing party hats will be appearing in the wild. Are you kidding me? More party hats? And then Shiny P-Dub is going to be making its appearance in Pokemon Go. And here's the Shiny line if you're interested for this one here. This is going to be the fourth anniversary kind of set that they do have going on here. Ducklet will be making its uh, debut in Pokemon Go. We took a picture of that or <laughs> we saw an image of that. It's actually going to be evolving into Swanna here, which is going to be a water and flying type Pokemon. And this is actually going to be, it's okay. I looked at the moves. It's going to be all right. I mean, it seems like it's not necessarily going to be a counter to Registeel, but but it can actually combat it. Anyways, so Ducklet will be in the wild and also hatching from five kilometer eggs. Then they go on to say that the flying Pikachu will be appearing in the wild and in raids. And if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. Okay. And then the jumpstart special research is going to be making a return. If you were not around for that or just do not know, uh, basically it's going to be an abundance of XP, Stardust, and just a few other things in between kind of to help out the newer trainers to just bump up their XP, bump up their Stardust and just help them, you know, get a little bit of a kickstart to whatever they're trying to do and encourage them to, hey, you know, we're going to give you some XP, you know, go ahead and grind it up, you know, get your level up there, power up some more Pokemon and here's some Stardust to do so. And we've all seen that before and it's nice. And if you're a veteran player, well, basically it's just going to be more Stardust. Moving on here, we have Ho-Oh. Raid weekend. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Niantic, you are, you are on it. Let's go. Okay. So this is going to be going down Friday, July 3rd. And yeah, until 
July 6th, and there's no new move. There's no new moves. I, I don't really understand. There's also going to be some sort of special remote raid passes, so you can look forward to that and stock up as well. Well, I don't know if there's necessarily going to be a sell on remote raid passes, but you never know. Anyways, moving on. Week 2 battle-based challenges. Get your Pokemon ready for battle before July 10th. Trainers, the second Pokemon Go Fest weekly challenge will test your battle skills. The dates for this are going to be July 10th at 8 a.m. until Wednesday, July 15th at 10 p.m. local time. So, pretty interesting. I like battling. I think they just need to, you know, kind of work on PvP. And we're, we're running into some bugs here. I'm not going to be featuring any bugs. Just a random battle I did have. Uh, but, mmm, it's pretty bad, right? I don't want to start complaining. I've seen some of you saying, stop complaining, Poke. We don't want to hear you complain. Look, look, look. I get it. I just want to, you know, point out the issues that are happening here. Anyways, moving on here for the... Uh, weekly challenge battle. Uh, complete all three of the tasks in your GoFest weekly challenge battle. Time research to earn an encounter with Hitmonlee, an encounter with Abzul, and a Super Rocket Radar. All oh, right, that's fine. If the following number of trainers from the same team complete their timed research this week, the corresponding Pokemon will be appearing during Pokemon GoFest 2020. Uh, One million team, team instincts for Pharaoh Seed, One million for Mystics for uh, Alolan Grimer, and then 1 million Valors for Alolan Marowak. So, yet again, like we said earlier, it seems like we're seeing a pattern, and personally, I think <laughs> Team Valors is getting the good Pokemon here. But uh, moving on here, if you complete the GoFest Weekly Challenge Battle Time Research, my goodness, that's a mouthful, uh, you will earn access to the GoFest Elite Battle Challenge, a set of difficult tasks that you can complete uh, and personally brag or something. All right, so, <laughs> you know, Kind of seeing a pattern here you complete one you're going to be able to move on to some sort of a harder challenge and it's just going to probably get you some more nice rewards that have yet to be disclosed as to exactly what those are going to be but i'm excited for it and it should be pretty awesome now moving on to week three friendship based challenge for this one it is going to be based upon your buddy pokemon your friends sending gifts possibly earning hearts with your buddy for unlocking challenges and whatnot here and then they go on to say, you should send a sticker on your gift to your friend because it could make their day. Yeah, you make sure you send those stickers. I mean, we can still get them for free, right? And I have to confess, folks, I have to confess, I have purchased those some of those stickers in the shop because they're, you know, I mean, I, come on. I mean, it's, yes, it's not really worth it all that much. It's not that expensive, but it's a fun little deal to have. That's why I haven't really been, you know, talking too much junk about that right and then you're gonna have style pikachu oh right that's going down july 17th at 8 a.m until wednesday july 22nd at 10 p.m look forward to that all right for the friendship challenge when you do complete it you will have an encounter with the alolan raichu petali which is going to be a new pokemon and this is its evolution here lilygant uh, it's going to be a pure grass type a lucky egg and more if the following number of trainers from the same team complete the time research and let's go ahead and see what we have here 1 million for instinct which is going to be a togetic 1 million for mystic dratini and then 1 million for team valor we have litwick oh boy i mean uh, i think dratini i don't know they're all good litwick yeah probably uh, if you complete this you're going to be able to move on to the more difficult one like the rest of them so pretty awesome a new pokemon to encounter here to see why they were saving all these pokemon all right, then moving on here for the summer themed features. Summer themed Pokemon will be appearing in the wild, hatching from eggs and appearing in raids. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Bellsprout. There we go, there we go, there we go. They're finally releasing it, I love it. And then uh, Petaly uh, will be making his Pokemon Go debut and appearing in the wild uh, when the weather is sunny and hatching from five kilometer eggs. And then the summer style Pikachu will also be making an appearance with that hat. Yep, that's lovely. Uh, be sure to take a snapshot for a surprise. So there you have it, trainers. Uh, pretty interesting stuff here. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll be keeping you updated on everything Pokemon Go and bringing you some more Go Battle League battles. This is pretty exciting. Get hyped and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.